Then I'll move the floor along to uh, open up old business. Anyone have any comments? It's quite a bit of time. Oh. Yeah, but the, uh, the old business was some of the goals we had created. Um, and we met with the people in the administration. Oh, thank you. We pretty much met all our goals for the for under new business actions. Is there any input that people want to be to get started and make it easier and quicker? Do you need to do anything? Pretty good to go. This is going to be very cool. Let's open the floor. Mm -hmm. um, I'll start off by saying, thank you, Liz. I think everybody knows what I'm going to finish. This is the 50th. I think it will be nice to have a different time for loops. Tangibly, this is a way of getting you to move because, you know, they're going to live in the country. It's going to be a bug. Youth is going to know it's going to be a the camera. Focus on it and uh, provide opportunity to be involved. You know, I think you can even get to the point where it's like, hey, everybody, before the uh, 250, you know, what are you doing? Just trying to push that in that direction. Do uh, that. You guys know I've been talking to Michelle Johnson extensively. Um, I would like to get us looking at action plans for things that you know, things that you think you know could be done to help to kind of get ready for change. Um, along budget season, I look at the demographic data and I noticed something really interesting that might be helpful on this point, and that is that most of our youth are male. We have very few female youth except for in the five. Um, so I don't know if I'm making generalizations, but maybe involving sport or getting, you know, doesn't mean all boys like sport just. <laughs> That that if that might be useful when you're thinking about it's kind of um um teenage movement is more interested in history and than female. But we need to kind of change them. Yeah. And I think the demographic we're talking about. That's good. Also, I think it'd be easy to really start looking at the greater model of the event that we're trying to reach out to people around, you know, mm -hmm. because the power is not I just want to share that it's very unusual, right? <laughs> But teenagers, you know, uh, 
Um, Thank you. Um, we just went um, accepting the minutes. And we just opened the door to me. And we are discussing that in the and also, uh, we see it as an opportunity to get you your involved in history. Uh, this came up that the demographics in the town and uh. That's an odd thing. Well, typically, teenage male will really enjoy the change that um, show more of an interest in history, but later in life, it seems like females do a lot of the research in the actual hard work. So it's a good idea. You know, I, I get it. It's probably been on the boy. That's, that's fine. But ultimately, we want to family and get both females and um, into this because it's their history, they're going to carry on the legacy. And that's the way it goes. Uh, just to mention that, I'm just trying to bring up the There's been a lot of discussions with the manager and the film, John. Uh, she's a government appointee for the commission. Trying to substitute um, to get her to the rest of the state, the rest of the country is going to be doing it. If you can, if you got to be very or remember to be sick, we will have a But, you know, now, this whole area is in the air, but now it's really bad. And um, I just think this great financial in the community need. And we shouldn't win the moment because um, this may have some diversion because the kids are very ugly. But, Okay. Yes. So that's where we are right now. I'm opening the door for input and conversation on this new business. Jump in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a tough thing because the hidden is being hot. What kind of going on? Let me tell you this being on the port city, like Blainburg, on our map, they really catch him. It's really helping. It's really helping. The war, the war, they do. That community, all oh, they, they were all there. Here, yeah, yeah, we were in the water. Yeah, um, uh, we we are the reason we start in the band. Yeah, yeah. Doc, Doctor B, you know, was the reason for that Scott B. Was negotiated with the British. It didn't mean the ball is the hero of it. We call it the hand of the And it, 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 there's so many times, okay, so much history here that is a cash move, and we can be the top value for of the tech. We can 
So that's been administratively. You can go to the Wikipedia or you're looking at how about something here to keep this realm besides the ordinance available. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that the, the race track is you know, race track is the happens in the whole whole community with this for the in, in that area. Mm -hmm. Um, same thing with the theater. This, this the theater in Upper is the only live theater in the Boston area during the yeah. Let's turn to it strikes me a big It strikes me the is more about the movie moving for the home when it benefits the Okay. So that's how they operate. So we have to kind of go in the direction where you make the challenge realize it behooves them. You saw it in showcase over there. It's because they have these programs that are reflecting on the challenge, you know, the graduation, what shows the equipment. So we kind of need to think in those aspects too. I have a question, if I may. Well, how do you make the, um, the town, and this may not no, be yeah. more relevant, and that people want to come to the town? What do we have happened here for 20 years? Yeah. And I said, you know, this town, based on the other ones that I said, could be booming. You know, I do a lot of stuff in, in Young Radio, and the things that they're doing, making them walk. Community. So to get people engaged, you got to give them something. So again, my question is, what are we giving people? Maybe um, not at this particular moment because that's going to be now and futuristic. So people will get engaged. I'm, I'm a history buff. I love history. So anything that you tell me history wise, I'm all engaged in. But on the same hand, you know the thing that you told me you know, that you just mentioned very interesting. So how do we get people? Engaged in that and understand that yes, slavery was an issue, and it still is prevalent to a degree. But how do you bring all of that history together to show that you know not only slavery but other things? People don't even recognize that the Chinese were enslaved. They were not people who were enslaved. Mm -hmm. But how do you bring it all together that people know that this is what makes this country great? This is what makes this town you know great. We are so rich in history. That people don't even know about. So how do we engage those people that do live in the gold, live in the gold mine? First of all, I'd like to thank you and Dion for inviting me to the meeting and uh, Jody. Uh, my name is uh, Jeffrey Thomas. And um, sorry, that making this but that was sorry. And Jody Wally. And um, uh, I am the young neighbor of the middle family, um, young Paula. And you have been coming in the next version. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's good to be here. Uh, I've always considered myself to be a resident, um, not simply of uh, the cultural degree, but the uh, town as well. And uh, I like to find ways to become more involved in what's going on here with the town itself because of uh, what occurs here and what occurs yes. across the, uh, the city limits. Mm -hmm. um, 202 uh, north of Marble Pike, 301, uh, old, um, um, old Crane Highway. It all impacts us. And so I'm here today to be uh, of support. And again, thank you uh, for the invitation. Yes, yes. Uh, do, you, do you know, sir? You mean? 
Yeah. Uh, do you know one of you? It's very good to meet you. Yeah, Joey and John does some things here. <laughs> well, the 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 I've told you before, like take the uh, members of the okay. If we, you know, if we were to go to all of the schools, same thing as like um, SA college. Okay. Maybe a reward of like uh, $50 is the best of that. Okay, we wouldn't judge it. We would get academic, you know, get 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 them to the university. 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 You'll get credit because they got a very good one. What is it? It's not You get the law. Okay. Anything your kids do, you know, in school, you call them the illegal. The school is they know. So you put awareness. In the region right there, you know, and I guess the thing has to be just what I have said history can be ugly, but now to repeat it, getting involved because the future is directly your, you know, and nobody can avoid the pitfalls. That may resonate more with the kids today. They're so loose, free fake. Yeah. But, and it's almost to get close to that point. Because when you just have little that's that's very important. That gives them permission right here. They say, what? He gets his boy to just today, but you know, it, it feeds to that. If they know the okay, case, they know all this involved in to the form. They know that, okay, we can step up and move the day more because this could very easily put him into a situation. So I think that was completely, and I think that, I think that resonated in the kids. Now, the best way of marketing it you know, is to make it, you know, but I don't think, you know. I was just going to say that I was at a conference with a bunch of other mayors, and one thing that was like a theme when we were talking about youth is that a lot of the youth the country kind of saying like we're making history now and where do we want to be on that so i don't think that ties into what you're saying but from a marketing perspective if you guys come up with like some kind of catchy tagline that we can put on materials every time that may help like yeah it's kind of like they're saying um you don't know when you do it unless you know where you fit yeah Food. And, uh, I just know, you know, you sit on all of the young men here today. The generation today really that they see us in the old fights and totally disconnected from their daily. Or, you know, we kind of thought the same thing with Audrey. 
alternative for the same operand. And this is this is a, a, a progression that that can can be taken. You know, nothing new, but the way a people or a ninja create that bond and see this kind of thing as a bonding thing, multiple generation. And uh, I'm saying why well, I can imagine because it's but this applies to every community. Every, you know, if you look at the Italian in Baltimore, you look at people how they carry on. Okay. The Irish, you're going to find this sun. You just turn on the TV. You know, it's, a, it's a thing of um, we're that key generation, and we're losing. You know that. And the key is, is we have to take it upon ourselves, build that bone. And one of the best ways to build that bone is to identify the change. Okay. And then everybody get on board, and let's fight to make it better because a lot of our kids are already having it. Okay. And they're thinking about their children, especially when they're going to be uh, 20 years old. That's how you do that. When you think about when you wake up, a small town, you do. And while you're talking with that, too. I think with the town here, we're kind of scared to um, evolve too much because we wouldn't like to keep it like Mayberry. Keep it. <laughs> no, sorry, I didn't hear me. Everyone else is. Oh, okay. Um, and she had a question, a question there, and how to bring awareness to the town. And the thing about it is, I think since we've been here, I didn't go here in the town, my husband did, but it's always been known as Black Mayberry. We watch Mayberry. It's very um, uh, peaceful. You know, it's not perfect as you get to some other areas. And I think a lot of this area, they want to keep it, they want to keep it. You know, very observed, and you know, don't let the city approach it too much. So you have to think about that too, as well, when you're thinking about bringing awareness to the town too. It's like a catch, you know, a catch there. You want to keep the the, the level that it is. It's pretty, you know, in the city because that's why I live like two miles. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I want to bring it to what we call I'm curious because we're. We never came down here in the machine guard and four shades. That's the only time we came down. This was a dead thing. We passed it. We moved. So the town has a leg. It's very um, A lot of it we're living with the of that legacy moves that way. They fought like hell just to get it done. But they, okay, they did not want it. They wanted to keep it raw. But in the in the coordinated portion, you know, this is part of the town center. So they do, which is their name. You have to think like this too. You are people, you are you are you invested in a certain quality of life. Okay. It's not fair to you, particularly African American community, okay, when people are not gonna give them over. Or, but when people come in, they 
want to do you all and we'll be sure you'll be in your opinion into an urban existence. And my favorite photo of the urban existence is bad for doing so. Human beings are being safe, being greener, and being fresh air in a poor environment for a fresh air that people need to look at each other. I believe okay, that in order for an activist community in particular to be reached where you know, it comes that we have never fully understood, it's going to take open air, open space, that rural from the 1920s to the it didn't work successfully. Got people all crunching. Okay. So maintaining that here is a blessing. It's a wonderful That's why people move forward here. Get away from all the crazy from the city. So let's be honest, you know, don't shoot yourself in the foot over the back. But everything the whole that often, if you want to do it, yeah. because you either have more people or you got to reach in your and some of you kind of work, you know. But with that thing, um, with this, this town is a wonderful life. Capitalized because I don't think it's going to be very commercial. You're going to see it less than you have because of the interest, you know. But there was some places like Baltimore and Hamilton, you know, both Hawk County is already funded. I'm getting a number of meetings, people coming. I'm telling you, okay, they're ready to capitalize here. They were not happening to be able to pass on the employer. It's bad money. It's for the community. Because the state is replaced. You know, Berlin is a little bit My resignation is on this. That's my input for this. The words I'm keeping. We could probably, one thing I thought we could do is uh, get with the historical committees in the neighboring counties and area of that, uh, and, and see what they're doing and where, you know, where their focus is going to be uh, for their area as well. Uh, it could give us an insight. Uh, we could, you know, maybe even collaborate with some things in an area that are close. One of the best ways to facilitate that, and I will talk to Sarah later, is permission. We serve at the front of the town commission. Make input, but we don't make decisions. <laughs> right, but I will talk to Sarah and we can open up that schedule of meetings with Michelle. If, if, if we can open that up, she has all the other, um, a lot of them from different towns, and they're in there, okay? And it gives you all a chance to hear what's going on around the state. You'll probably catch a lot of things that um, might go over my head, you know? And uh, you know what they say, multitude of ears will input, you get better wisdom. So, why that's okay. Yeah. I was just going to say that um, the Prince George's County um, towns are really engaged. And uh, Tisha James, Mayor of Bladensburg, is MML. Uh, their 250 commission. <laughs> so that the, the town can easily say, coordinate with your inner county mm -hmm. towns that you don't need. <laughs> um, and I know Eagle Harbor and Morningside and the town of Upper Marlboro have a close relationship because they're 
Eagle Harbor and Morning. Oh, Eagle. They have a lot of history. Mm -hmm. I would like to address the, the negativity that I picked up on in efforts to urbanize this area. We have recently had a lot of sidewalks. I think that's a great idea. I'd like to see more of it now. Call that urbanization or not, but I think that that's a big part of being able to build a community. People can walk from that they couldn't do before. Basically, I grew up. I grew up in Brooklyn. There was a free supermarket within three blocks. And there were three pizzerias within three blocks where I live. There were six bus routes and a subway station within three blocks of where we live. So that was good. I enjoyed that. I grew up there and loved it. You could play baseball in the street. Stick ball, punch ball, skelly. Okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and, and the, the, the Spalding versus Penty Pinky debate. <laughs> You probably have no idea what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, so the, the more sidewalks we can get in the town, the better, in my opinion. Uh, but there was something that I wanted to bring up in, in events that we hold in the town. I think a, a worthwhile contribution would be something that we did a while ago for the uh, uh, anniversary of the War of eighteen twenty. There was a DJ playing songs from the period, and so if we can get him back, I think that would be a worthwhile contribution to displaying the history of the region. Oh. Yeah. So you know, bring keep that in. Um, my question is, it, it can be very educational, but how much does it resonate? You know, who's who's going to grab it? When we do say, what kind of moment? Yeah, you just say you have to think of the box. Yeah. And group. Yeah. You bring in all these, um, the more people you bring in of that nature. Five or six days a week. You have to police that, you have to do that, you have to do all sorts of things. That creates a whole wall. Create a, a method by which kids can walk to the playground. But ultimately, leadership. Leadership, leadership is carrying, is carrying the rush of, they have made me to grow your country, to do that kind of stuff. And I think that's kind of the most that yeah. do. So that's why we to a degree, you know, I don't want to do, but at the end of the day, what I'm saying here has already been done. What I am doing is advocating for pushing the history okay, and pushing away for the people who study the history. Because you need a long prosperity to get because it's my life. She's looking right at me.
came out of um one second. It came out of um the farmer's book. Came there and parking in one check. We're out of the back, okay. But it's a jail. You know, looking in a clean space. Good grief. Looking for the land. And just and we're letting our history, we're letting history material. The William Bean sound yeah. is a classic thing. Which can we go? Bill, 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 you got to be in the Because did you just ask me? If you want to end up with a friend with Jim. Okay, and I'm just saying that from the from the factual historical because see when when things are kind of wrong, you can kind of make a little then you can't want something to become overly, you know. I'm thinking of something right now, you know, and they're finding it there, and I'm saying thank you. They just smack a punch and say, it's here, but it's all in there. <laughs> and the beach is all over. And in you know, the historic building, I was saying, yeah. But I want to do this for the country. Uh, you know, some people are not aware that uh, Georgetown and Alexandria was, uh, you know, black community. Yeah. Just keep in with them um, in contact. And uh, just to um, um, you know, just to comment on um, insights um, and the city and the sense of the God, uh, we only referenced the uh, port, um, port cities uh, in their focus on history and the uh, uh, 250 uh, commemoration. Um, the port cities, they have a built-in advantage um, in terms of uh, um, their proximity mm -hmm. to the District of Columbia and the nation's capital. Uh, the proximity um, right on the Austin River and the uh, restoration environmental efforts to uh, revamp uh, the river and the uh, surrounding area. And um, so it seems to me there's um, a way, you know, that uh, this committee, you know, um, and, um, you know, and the town, you know, could link the uh, efforts with this historical commemoration that would uh, certainly uh, be of, uh, you know, uh, of help, I think. And, you know, the other thing is, um, um, my wife and I have been some problem. You know, drive and just sort of get lost mm -hmm. in the surrounding area just to see what's going on. And then um, five or six months ago, driving down uh, about four, uh, we happened upon uh, the town of uh, Lower Marble mm -hmm. and the historical uh, contact there. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, there's so much. Uh, you know, so much that this historical committee and the town can do uh, over the short and the long term to uh, begin to link uh, ethics because uh, you certainly can't do it uh, by yourself. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And this used to be a point today. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This, this was, this was only important. Hit on something and just something that ties back into the point of 250 history in youth, which is the playground, because the playground is it's train themed for a reason. The Chesapeake Beach Rail Trail mm -hmm. um, is right there. Mm -hmm. The town is, has recently purchased property to turn that into the biker trail. We have a study that's going in the county, and that's and there's a lot of historic features over in the property we just purchased. But when you're talking about, so we kind of talked about teenage boys, and we were talking about that five to nine, that is a more 
you know, diverse between boys and girls in the town, and you're talking about the playground, it might be worth putting some one of the activities to engage youth at that playground and connecting with the kids love trains. They love well, I'm sorry. They love trains. Choo -choo. You know? So I think that was, you know, really good point to talk about the playground because it ties in history and youth. Even bringing the, the, the county of uh, more field trips, like to county field trips that you can watch. You know, I mean, there's yeah. probably stuff that we're going to do. We're going to do that. 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 We're going to do the commemorative thing as well. Yeah. Well, back to the port city thing. Um, 200 years ago, Upper Marlboro was the second largest city in, in America. And it was one of 11 ports in, the, in the, the colonies where tobacco could be exported. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a big part of the history of this area, too. Back is a big part of it. Yeah. But, uh, you know, this is this right here. Yeah, and the scary. Right. Right. But let's say this too. Same point. Uh, I was having a lot of confessions. You got a little train for you. Um, she had a whatever. Was. How did I get it? The first bride to come in was late 1830s. Even before then, and I know because I looked at it, it was part of the bell. Okay. okay, so that property goes all the way back to the 16th What's the point of driving it here? She has a business. Okay, there's going to be a lot of people trying to be reserved and be on the way to the mall. Okay, um, for the commemoration. Nothing turned that kind of people on more than you were able to say. It's a it's a big wreck of all the things, or I'm getting a massage, or whatever, or just a store, or whatever. all that kind of good because people they think on a track. Okay, so I was trying to get her, you know, but, but if businesses around here with two. Right. There's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of commercial. The jumbo board that trade. Right. Um, that's what we have to do. How can we have in money? Yeah, See, we've been bickering and fighting. Rolling our eyes and acting stupid for so long, we missed out on some wonderful things. They wanted to make this historic Williamsburg, carry all the history from second right to all the way. They wanted to develop it the same way they did James. So we had to You came here, the, the, the African American Association down there with the real you know, all we're doing here is just picking on you, obstructing you. We're a bunch of stuck shit because we've got a bunch of letters by the way. We can think for this and think for that. And we're missing all of you. Adam Stewart. I think vacant buildings around here that are in deeper shape. You know, kind of hard with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well.
I, I mean, it's like asking, like, you know, there's a, a big rat out there. So my point is, is that if you come from history, where you come in, you know, is there some place here where we can remember pictures or commemoratives, the thing that we have where people can come and it's like a museum of, of the law. Let's how much history we actually have here. And in, in that respect, that gives people an opportunity to come and actually see that history. So if we have things that are events here, you know, we can direct them to one particular place that tells all the history of the law. And I'm sure the people will go, wow, I didn't realize. So uh, that's why I was at and the fact that you can invest in as many of the dollars that um, you could find for to take that they can build and, and turn them into um, you know viable entities. Exactly. I think that we'll build them right up. We're still evaluating whether it's going to cost us more money. Well, see, that's not the regular. Well, and that's why I think that's why this turned down. Like all the all the old historic buildings that are deteriorating, the town turned them down. The county was saying, "We're done maintaining this. Do you want it?" But the town must have realized they couldn't afford to maintain it. So that's why they're deteriorating. Um, but the stone house, because it's made of stone, I think is salvageable. Um, so we're, you know, but, but, but you need, you need an EDC, which, which we're working on too, but so what, what's an EDC? like you need a, 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 a non-profit economic development, commission, not, not like, so there, there's a lot of challenges. So everything you're saying is great, but there's, there's more, I, I want to pull you kind of back into like historic committee because suggestions about the buildings and stuff like that, that can, I can bring those to the council, but things like activities and, and, and honoring 250 is really kind of what you guys can influence and can do. Um, so I just, I'm, I'm gonna try to refocus you back. Say this, from what I'm saying, you could be a government entity or you could be a nonprofit. So you don't necessarily have to be a nonprofit in order to apply for the money. I'll look into it, but it just came out. Yeah, they do. They look at the 
What's the status of the uh, former um, office of the sheriff's county sheriff's department across from the post office? Is that well, that's the old Marble Elementary School. That's the Eames building. Yeah, it will have been. It should be a super building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, you know, if, if that's something we could do historically, then things we could get, you know, to bring people in, the colleges, um, school systems, people who are interested in history, and, you know, it, it would be education for them also. So, you know, it's the first group we could, we could easily start with. You know, it, 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 Let's see what you put some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 That's a bad. Yeah. It's for demolition. Yeah, for demolition, yeah. Okay, kills that. Well, so I just wanted to kind of focus, focus fast. Because you guys have an agenda. I want to make sure it gets into We can talk all day about okay. <laughs> So, what it sounds like is that you guys engage you. Um, and we're starting, you know, we're getting started to go into event season. So what I'm wondering is if I can take back direction to staff on like either a flyer or could, like something we can hand out or I can hand to principals um, that's sort of encapsulating how the youth can get engaged and in yeah, I guess how they get engaged so that they can start hearing about it and what they can do. Are we ready? I'm going to be We don't combine We I don't if we talk to the principals because you got to get a from someone to, you know, can't just go over there and just, oh, you know, hey. If we say we're having this function and you get community, you get community um, service. Service. Um, for them. That's going to be And so we a lot of community for that. And then while we're at it, while we're there, uh, up until that day, okay, get your student, let them know, put the word out, we're having this. Um, we can talk about kind of later. later. So, no, the, so the, the board of, well, the board of commissioners, our goal is, is to engage you in the, so we can support each other in, in those ways. Up the number, uh, you want to spend about like five minutes, get a good amount. You know, when because the little the little the only thing you just want to do when it's in school for each one minute, you know, but if you what is the topic of the essay con like it, it's gotta have like a uh, lot big and a the folks on the folks on the history of the case. Well, you can you can send something tonight and then we can mock up a flyer from staff and that then goes to you for 
feedback. We need to open at short material that they can find interesting in their own and write about that. Right. And we don't have that. No, but well, in your community, could they could you interpret want? it as youth contributions? They could, whatever community they identify with, right? Mm -hmm. They could go ahead and, you know, that lets them have some, you know, when the teacher gives you a list of names and you pick one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you could you listen. Well, <laughs> keep in mind that some people who go to school and be kids are not native to this area. So, you know, what do you do? Well, if they go to the kids, they go to kids. Yeah. So, that's what I said, right? So, they don't have to be from here to be here. You know, they need a full week. We can get this and go. And it doesn't have to be for you, Well, it's any of them. Yeah. 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 My grandson, for example, right now uh, is a complete perfume that's part of his inhabitants. Mm -hmm. His uh, one side of the family is English and French. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, and he has, and he's been, we, he's been blending both of those. Sure. And all of that culture is what we wanted him to learn. Right. And if they will find the same thing, but it's not just the color of the skin. Right. It is how your family came together. We have a lot of mixed families now. Yep. That is mixed with the and African. Yep. And these yep. kids are Hispanic and African and Turkish and, uh, you know, a little of everything. You know, uh, so I think it's a special church. So let's leave on the unit and with the three main bullets. With the two main dimension, because that's secure on the one of them. Okay. Um, we're going to talk with all the principal in the local uh, area about an essay competition. Walk. More here, there's not enough time. Yeah, we need to. Let's like, move memories and more so as like, in, sure. if you incorporate it into Marlboro Day, so there's actually like a place you can hop on the walking tour and go from there. Or if, yeah, just because if you're going for May, I'm worried you don't have enough time to figure it out, publish it, get the essays back, and review them. Well, it's, in, it's been moved to June 8th. Mm -hmm. 
I just think that I've been on the walk. Been on the walk. And I'm telling you, that's something you know, me, you know, all that kind of stuff. Even if it, it gives them the same, these kids, they're not going to be home in the moment. You know, they do. Uh, maybe it's something. We should shoot for like July. It gives them April, May, June. They could come to, they more could be in the middle. It could be just an opportunity to research. Yeah, we, we have to, they have to evaluate the essays during the school year. Well, they, I'm not. Okay. I just don't want to get really involved in the chat. Anything, yeah. you know, take the credit of it. Just um, they could do that in like, um, yeah, one month long school year and the academic would be off in the month. Yeah, we need to get it done here. History or civic, and then you and I will meet with them and, and come up with a plan. Yeah. I'll send them yeah. to speak on. To back up a little bit, community can also be the church that they attend. And so we get the church leaders involved in sure. getting some of this stuff organized. I think that we have a good relationship with the principals. So I don't think the principal wants to do the contest, but they'll hand us to their department. Yeah. It is the end of the year. school that's going to be resident youth because there's no way to do that um, without making kids feel Judged before Marlboro Day, we can announce them from the stage, which would be cool. One thing that I think we should all have been to we'll work out the yeah. what the county is doing because we, we don't want our efforts to be overshadowed by whatever you know, some things that are the These are already, these are already on. Yeah. Sure. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're going to be able okay. to. So you got one of the 250 commission. We got the essay contest. Okay. Learn how to 
We're doing a cleanup on the 27th of April. You want to meet this year? Yeah. Um, anyone doing anyone doing the tour and we're giving SSL out of that? And just for the push of that, can we keep saying a little bit too? To prevent them shifting everything up to larger. Okay. Would you elaborate, please? Well, uh, the, there is, the, they moved everything out of the county administration building, shifted it out to Largo. They're trying to make Largo the county seat. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's keep it here. And... Yeah, I, I, did some, I did some checking, and it turns out that in the entire country, there are only two. County seats that are not incorporated towns, and they're both in the state of America. I'm in the middle meeting there. I'm going to be getting down to Georgia. She's a Washington woman. She's a father too. Buy a little farm and live down there. And it's beautiful when you're like in your 60s, in your 70s, or when you're in your 80s, when your health starts coming down. All of that has to be. You know, it just. And, and it's, it's far. All of the kids are here. What part of you are you in? Take you the South Side He likes the dog. What part of you did he do? We were in Fort Washington, the park, and then also um, my parents were off, uh, my grandparents were off, the family. Over there, you know, and then we can get it. How do you think you put your piece in? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, so we anyway, uh, I think we need to finish the new business and open for discussion. Sorry, uh, if something like you know, an accident, we can close the meeting. Anything you want? I'm John, I just sent you the notes I've been taking. I got them. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a good weekend. Thank you, John. Thank you. <laughs>